Celine Dion's rise to fame began at a young age. Her family was musically inclined, and she began singing and performing alongside her siblings in their parents' small piano bar in Charlemagne, Quebec. By the age of 12, Celine had recorded her first song, It Was Only a Dream, which her mother sent to a music manager named Rene Angelil. Rene was immediately struck by Celine's talent and agreed to become her manager. Under Rena's guidance, Celine's career took off. She recorded several French-language albums in the 1980s, becoming a popular singer in Quebec and France. In 1988, she released her first English-language album, Unison, which featured the hit songs Where Does My Heart Beat Now and The Last to Know. The album was a commercial success, and Celine began to gain recognition in the United States and around the world. Celine's success only grew with the release of her album, The Color of My Love, in 1993. The album featured the hit song, The Power of Love, which became Celine's first number one hit in the United States. The album also included When I Fall in Love, a duet with Clive Griffin that was used in the movie Sleepless in Seattle. Celine's next album, Falling Into You, released in 1996, was even more successful. It won two Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, and featured the hit songs Because You Loved Me and It's All Coming Back to Me Now. The album sold over 32 million copies worldwide and cemented Celine's status as a global superstar. In addition to her music career, Celine also acted in several films and television shows. She appeared in the movie The Peanut Butter Solution in 1985 and had a cameo in the film Zoolander in 2001. She also appeared in several television shows, including Touched by an Angel, Sesame Street, and The Nanny. Throughout her career, Celine remained devoted to her family. She married Rene Angelil in 1994 and had three children with him, Rena Charles, Eddie, and Nelson. When Rena was diagnosed with throat cancer in 1997, Celine took a break from her career to care for him. He eventually recovered, but the experience had a profound impact on Celine's life and career. Celine's final years were marked by her residency at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. She began performing at the casino in 2003 and continued to do so until 2019, becoming one of the most successful Las Vegas performers of all time. She was known for her emotional performances, her dedication to her fans, and her love of music. Her legacy as one of the greatest singers of all time will live on, and she will be remembered for her powerful voice, her dedication to her family and fans, and her unwavering passion for music. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.